Welcome back to Call for Help. I'm Leo Laporte. And uh, today we're introducing a brand new segment on the show. We call it Web Workshop. Wonder what that means. Justin Hall will be joining us every Tuesday from now on to help you get wired. And I'm not just talking surfing the web here. We're going to show you how to make your mark on the internet by creating your own personal website. You Welcome. got it. Welcome, Justin. Welcome, Leo. It's good Thank to you see so you. Much. And this is going to be fun. We're going to do this every week. Have a lot of fun. Hubba hubba. And uh, what are we going to do today? What's what's the what's the job today? Well, I, I'm thinking. You know, most people out there who don't have personal web pages, you know, they browse the web, they come across some of them, but they might not think to themselves, I could have a personal website. So what I thought we might we might do is look at some personal website examples and say, maybe this is the one that you would have, or maybe this is the one that you wouldn't have. But think about having a personal website. Now you don't have to know anything at this point about doing a web page. We're talking merely about thinking about what you would put on a web page. That's right. Were you to create that's one? That's right. Because there's millions of personal web pages out there, and what's on what we're looking at right now is. You eat chicken patties. This is a site, <laughs> Zini Sam. We've actually become rather fond of this guy because he's got a quirky sense of humor going on. But if you think about it, a lot of people who are browsing the web, if this is what they come across, they're going to think, this is not my take on the world. This is not how I'm going to put myself out there. It's an example of what of how easy it is, right? Because this guy's expending, you know, the peak of Western technology to kind of make this crazy <laughs> chicken patty, uh, you know, uh, advocacy site. But there's, you know, there's a lot out there. So I thought we'd look at some three examples of different kinds of personal web pages that people might do. Now, are you saying this is not what you want to do or just this is maybe not where to start? No, I wanted to start here because this is what a lot of people think when they think personal web pages. Lots of flashes, dancing, dancing icons and colors and but you don't have patties to do this. and dudettes. Exactly. And in fact, frankly, uh, as interesting as this site is, it might not be the best way to start your foray right, into to reach web the design. Web, exactly. All right. Okay, so this is a t this is a page that is so basic. This is a real page. This is a real page. It's a guy named Steve Rhodes. Exactly. It looks like it could have come out of a word processor, right? Yeah. I mean, because white uh, white paper, black text. It's exactly. Uh, not nothing more than a few lines, some bold text up top. You know, a few links here and there. Very little of this stuff is on his site. Some of the articles he's written himself, but most of it is actually links to things out on the web that he thinks about or that are exciting to him. So this would be a very simple web page exactly. anybody could put together. Exactly. Uh, the blue text is links. I should turn the underline. We turn yeah. the underlining back off. You want me to turn it on? Yeah. Because, you know, I think that people might get a little confused. I so, turn it off because right. I don't like underlining. Well, Leo, you got to do what you got to do. This I, got, I know, I know, this but, you know. Show. So uh, don't, don't let them don't let them push you around. <laughs> we got this this site. The thing about this site, you could show it to your boss. Okay. You could show it to a friend of yours who wanted to see what you were into. It's a very you know it, it applies to a lot of purposes. Right. This next site is a little more personal, right? We go to this. Site. Yeah, this is some color in here. We got some a pink bag. You get a feeling immediately when you go to this exactly. site. A picture. Exactly. Okay. There's a there's yeah there's a little graphic sets the tone. Flower. Now the content's different here too because it's not just lists of links. No. Uh, and maybe a little bit about his background. This Her. Is, this is Carrie Katow. Carrie's done something different. Friend of mine. A very wonderful writer writes little essays about parts of her life that are exciting to her. Her cat Miff, right? right? This is just an essay about her cat. Now, it's not, you know, there's not pictures of Kaori and her cat. There's not, you know, there's not a text about where she was born and stuff mm -hmm. like that necessarily. It's more about little aspects of her life that she wants to write about that are important to her. So, your point about this page is? It's not the full on revela personal revelation. It's not a diary. It's not naked pictures. It's not flashing chicken patties. It's just dignified treatment of subjects that are dear to this person. All right. And cat. we're looking at these because you're because I guess the idea is you, you guys could maybe take a look at these people who are watching take a look at these and see if some of this strikes your fancy something that you might exactly. want to do and it looks I look at this page and say this is pretty simple even if I you, could do if that you, yeah if you take yeah. off the top image you're looking at a story about a cat this could be an email this could be a web page this could be a, a something right. you've written in a word processor it's, it's hey man very okay. easy great okay we got a bookmark here for the last one we're gonna look at toothpick girl Toothpick okay. Girl's a little something here. It's well, a little more sophisticated. Exactly. Still, there's mostly just text. There's one graphic up in the corner that she's clearly made for herself, mm -hmm. right? This is kind of the last level, or not the last, but the last level we'll look at today in terms of what you could aspire to. It's still pretty simple because it's mostly text on a background and links and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But she's got some co a lot of different color things going on and custom-made graphics. So and the content is a little bit more personal exactly in here? Exactly right. She loved the Avengers, even though it was a lousy That's movie. That's pretty personal. I'm not she sure I'd want to admit that on the web. She was in the doctor's office waiting to get pills. Hasn't that all happened right. to all of us? You know what so I mean? So this is so kind of almost her journal. That's right. It, she goes into her journal. She's got essays about shoes and her recipe for spinach, crab, fettuccine. 
So what we've seen here is three web pages that go from very simple to a little more complex, but all easy to do. Absolutely and right. More, more importantly, the content goes from not, not particularly personal to very personal. Exactly. And you could do anything in you that You could range. do anything. You, maybe her boss would go here because her boss knows these things about her, but maybe this is for her and her friends. Okay. So, so this should uh, this should give people some ideas of things they they might want to do. Absolutely do you, do you right. have some homework you would like to assign people yeah, for I our web say, workshop? I would say if you're going to be tuning in again, which I definitely recommend you do, because okay. we're such a charming, uh, <laughs> you know, television experience. But um, really, what you should do is get a sense, get out there, and see yeah. what's on the web in terms of what people are doing, because making a personal website is a fantastic way to learn about make, how the web works and to reach other people who are also into. You know, one of those weird little dogs calls, or you know, whatever it is that you know, old computers, or right, you know, right. whatever it is that you're into, you write about it online. People find out about you through searches, and they kind of get in contact, and you can really kind of make. It's a great way to move online. And a good a way to website. learn how to do anything, whether write a novel, play a guitar, or write a web page, is to see what others have done. And in fact, initially copy. People. That's exactly okay. right. Isn't and it? We'll, we'll be getting into that in future segments, but basically anything that you see out there on the web, you can do yourself. It's okay. that easy to just kind of look at what they've done and do it. All of this is on Justin's page. We've created a very special web workshop link for you on the Call for Help page. You go to ZDTV.com slash call for help. Click on the web workshop link and you'll see Justin's fabulous, fabulous page talking all about this stuff in greater detail. Come your on. homework assignment, go out and look at some pages, think about what you'd like to do with your web page. And next week, more details on how to make your own web page with Web Workshop. Webmaster Justin Thank Hall. Thank you so much. Wait, one last thing, Leo. One last thing. Give them your URL to go to. Huh? No. Okay. All right, Leo, if you, you. if you want to see a web page you don't want to emulate, www. That's very nice of you, leoville.com. Do you have your own? You have justin.org, do. don't it, you? It's, um, Links.net, www.links.net. Www this is very personal, probably too personal to show you. Thank you very much, Justin. We're going to take a break. But first, let's test your technology in our daily quiz. Now, here's how this works. If you know the answer, I want you to go to the Call for Help website at zdtv.com slash call for help. You click on the quiz button at my feet. Answer correctly, your name will be in that drawing. Three months free to ZD University, online learning for a connected world. And by the way, they also have classes on learning how to do HTML and web page design. So here's the question of the day. What is an AVI, not an AVI? Is it a bird watching site, an audio visual interface, automated value investment, or audio video interleave? Oh, this is tricky. There's only one right answer in there. Get to the website, give it to us, and I'll have the right answer and a couple of wrong ones when Call for Help continues a little later on.